Marcy here. I'm doing a video today to teach you and talk to you more about meal prep. So I do a lot of meal prep on my Instagram and I sometimes post it to Facebook when I remember. Um, but I have a lot of questions all the time. Marcy, how do you do it? I don't understand. I, I can't eat leftovers all week and lots of other things and I have a family. So with this particular video, I'm going to explain how to meal prep for a family. If you guys like this video or want to uh, have me do a video, if those that are single and those that don't have a family, um, yeah, just let me know and I'll be sure to do one. So let's talk about a family because a family will change your life and make you extremely busy. <laughs> Hence, my kids are vacuuming right now. So meal prepping for a family for me, it really starts during the week. I'm one of those people that uh, sign up for the various grocery store news ads or sales ads because I want to know what's on sale. Now, the majority of those things are garbage. The only thing that I go there for is to look what fruit and what produce is on sale. The majority of everything else on there is garbage unless you're wanting a drink or wanting a splurge. Nothing wrong with that. The weekend hits, you want some ice cream, get you some Edie's, whatever you want to do. But for the most part, that's the only reason why I look at the ads. So that's step one in terms of where exactly do I want to go to grocery shop? Once again, I love to grocery stop, shop. If you don't, I totally get it. You have um, the grocery delivery services that can go and get it for you. Uh, so you can kind of sit on the couch, watch TV, put it on your cart and have it Instacart it to you the next day or whenever you choose to meal prep. Um, there's lots of different variations on how to get your food. If you like to grocery shop like me, um, I've actually gotten down to one grocery store only because of time um, when I was single and maybe child one, sometimes with two. I actually hit up like three grocery stores because one, I'm teaching them and two, I like it. So that's probably my first number tip for those that are parents. Get your kids out in the stores. Uh, my kids know all of their fruits and vegetables more so than the people working. Like I told you, I'll never forget, you know, I'm, I'm getting a beat and I go to Kroger and the guy at the cash register has no idea what produce that is. And so my kids are able to be like, that's a beat. So he can look on his chart and basically look it up. Okay. So again, you got a grocery shop, unfortunately. Now, how to eliminate all the grocery store runs. Frozen fruits and vegetables are your friends. Uh, they even say that it's less processed even. So that's a tip that you can do. Load up in Kroger. If, if you ha I have a deep freezer, let's get it because I had a kid full of breast milk. So I have a deep freezer. If you don't have that much space, cool. Just load it as much as you can. Again, frozen fruits and vegetables never hurt. And again, fresh produce. And that's kind of what you want to do uh, weekly is to buy that fresh produce. Now, if um, for a period of time, I actually experimented with the box produce. So it was from a local farm in Georgia. They would actually um, mail me my produce. It's a little expensive. It was cool while it lasted. If it fits your fancy, do it. It's pretty cool to just to have that produce once again mailed to you. So then you can have your Instacart sent to you and also your produce sent to you that's fresh. They, didn't, they never had bananas in my box, which my family loves bananas, so I had to go. Okay, that's kind of how I strategize my grocery shopping. Um, because of COVID, because of flexibility, I can now sometimes grocery shop on Fridays, close to the weekend. If I can't, I'm a Saturday morning girl. Those that are local, you might even see me in the grocery store. That's just my thing. So grocery shop, get it out the way. If you Saturday morning doesn't work, fit that time that works for you and your family. For me, because my kids wake up early, it only makes sense. Let's get them busy. Let's get them learning let's get out to the stores okay so that's kind of what we do saturday mornings all right so that's uh the grocery shopping piece now let's get into the shopping sorry that the cooking so for me i caught hold of this i would say about a year ago which is to start on saturday night now does that mean marcy your saturday nights are boring you don't do anything yeah for the most part i'm a mom i don't have a babysitter 24 7 so i just kind of hang out and edit videos and do all that stuff for you guys because that's kind of my hobby that's what I do so um, yes starting on Saturday nights is what I use um, uh, where I utilize my time with my carbs okay so uh, let's take a break and let's talk about like what do you meal prep and how do you know what food you want so I'll tell you about me and then you can kind of judge it based on kind of your, your your thing so for me I primarily eat vegetables i'm not a vegetarian i eat my carbs and i'm pretty steady with my carbs because i know what's healthy and what's not and then i do have a little piece of meat i don't have meat every week 
and for the most part I'm just loading up on my healthy carb my vegetables and my beans if I choose to do my meat that's cool so that's kind of the layout for how I eat a lot of people struggle with meal prep because they're just like you know my kids don't eat this and my husband doesn't eat this uh, I was chatting with somebody today you really have to consider making that decision for your family to just be healthy and so I have told the story before when I first got married to my husband he's he's a typical guy eating sandwiches and PB&J and all this stuff I cut out bread from my house for years and my husband lost like 10 pounds in the first year we were, we've been married we were married so that was super hilarious he's now used to me most mornings he hates me he's like we're having more gluten-free pancakes yeah sorry <laughs> so you have to kind of get into that rhythm with your family to change their taste buds because that's what happened with all of us the average healthy person probably didn't always eat healthy we have to go through a cycle of let me try different fruits and vegetables to learn what it tastes like um do i like it do i not like it and then find your things of what you like because you should have variety and always change it up so saying all that to say on Saturdays, I start with my carbs. That might be buckwheat, that might be quinoa, that might be, I don't do too much brown rice anymore because of the arsenic, and I'm kind of experimenting with it in terms of if it makes me bloated or not, but I mean, I ate brown rice for years and years and years, so that's um, some carbs, jasmine rice, you know, pick that healthy carb that you want if you choose to eat carbs. Those that you are super achievers, you don't want any carbs, ignore, ignore that. The reason I suggest that for Saturday night is because it doesn't go bad. I've made stuff on Saturday night and it stretches me through Friday. I know that sounds gross, but I'm a person that can eat leftovers and I promise you it does not taste like leftovers. Okay, so my, my key to that is I use my Instant Pot. That thing has been revolutionary. You put it in there and you do whatever you want so hit doing it on Saturday nights I'm able to watch TV I'm able to talk with my husband and chill hang out and I just got the instant pot going that's kind of how my Saturday nights go down uh, if I go out uh, I might start if I go out on Saturday night I might start at lunchtime and make my rice because once again I mean a four-hour difference between 12 o'clock and 4 p.m. is not gonna make much difference so I do try to start early enough so by the time 9 o'clock hits, I'm not cooking anymore, all right? And you're not really cooking anyway because it's in an Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, again, that, that's like my super go-to for my carbs. If you don't have it, no big deal. Cook it on the stove. You can have four pots going with, with, with a variety. So if you don't want um, quinoa five days a week, do three days quinoa, two days rice, or something like that. So that's how I do my carbs. And um, once it's done cooking, I go ahead and put it in my containers. So I don't like put all the pots in the refrigerator and do it the next day. Hence you can, I go ahead, I get my kids trays, I get my husband's container, I get mine, I dump it in. But something else that I do on Saturday is prep for my lunch. So for my lunch, for the most part, I'm always eating a sweet potato with my salad. That's how I stay full. Sweet potatoes, once again, I've eaten a sweet potato for a week and a half in the refrigerator and it tastes fine. Do a big batch of sweet potatoes, if that's your thing, to eat with your salad during the week on Saturday. So that's another tip. I also put that in my Instant Pot back in the day when I didn't have one. I put those suckers in the oven for an hour on 400 degrees and forgot about it. So it's pretty cool. Um, super, super clean and healthy and easy, okay? So that's step one for my meal prep. That's my base. And I know I'm talking fast because I have a lot to share with you and I don't want to bore you I'm trying to get it done. Those are my carbs, okay? The next day, aka Sunday, um, I am doing a whole lot of stuff while I watch church <laughs> to uh, meal prep. So I will then proceed with my vegetables, okay? So for me, I shop at Costco and Kroger to get my vegetables. And all of the vegetables that I eat during the week are frozen. Broccoli, mixed vegetables, green beans, Brussels sprouts, you name it, cauliflower. There's different ways to cook your vegetables. You can grill them, you can bake them, you can stir fry them, whatever you wanna do, you can steam them. Okay, I pick a variety of those different methods of how to cook my vegetables and I make sure that I spread those across my kids' plates, my plates, my husband's plates. Every week I switch it up so it's not boring, right? Because you don't want to eat green beans every week for a month. That would get boring. So switch it up, okay? So that's my vegetables, plain and simple. Sometimes I will do beans. And when I do beans, I'll soak them on Saturday night or I'll even soak them on Friday night to cook them Saturday. I'll soak them on Saturday night to do them Sunday. 
put them in an instant pot, forget about it. I got beans just going, beans. And like I said, if you see my Instagram, I'm kind of stuffy, sorry. It's gonna, it's gonna seem like, um, I'm like a kitchen staff, like doing the assembly line of, of, um, of vegetables. That's just how it is. And so for me, I may do two things of vegetables, and even for my kids. Like this week I have uh, green beans and zucchini. That's just what I like. So I'll give myself green beans, I'll give myself zucchini, and it's awesome. So that's what I do in terms of the, of the vegetables. Um, you can even boil them on the stove. Okay, now that I've got my carb and my vegetable, the last thing that I have is uh, my meat. So my husband eats chicken legs every week. That's his thing. He's consistent, he's not eating out, we'll let him go for it. It's not fried, I grill it for him, and he's been doing it for years. I personally don't wanna eat chicken like that every day. <laughs> and I don't eat that much chicken anymore. So let's talk about my meat. My meat, I tend to go lean ground beef. So I'll do 90% and 10%. So I'll do bison, I'll do lean ground beef. Sometimes I'll do veggie patties, sometimes not. Uh, Impossible burgers are good. Um, and I will do chicken sometimes. I'm not, I'm not completely chicken free, but for the most part, chicken is garbage these days. It's not healthy. Uh, a lot of you probably watching this don't eat red meat to each its own. That's totally fine. Skip the red meat and uh, do fish. I do a lot of salmon. Um, I tr really try to stick to um, sockeye salmon because it's the healthiest. You really got to be careful with farm raised. It's not the healthiest and it's just as bad potentially as eating chicken that's fed corn all day. So be very careful with that. A lot of people praise themselves in the salmon that they eat, but it's not healthy. <laughs> and I try to be nice when I tell them like, yeah, that's not that healthy. So um, the quality does matter for some of the foods that you're eating. Um, so how do I cook my meat? I am so simple. I don't really care to cook. I cook because I have to. So I think of the easiest ways, Marcy, how can I get out of the kitchen? So once again, I don't really call it meatloaf because I don't do the works and do the ketchup. I do the ketchup like sometimes if I'm, you know, feeling like some pain to it, right? Um, I'll put that thing in a casserole dish and put the meatloaf in there. Uh, lay it out flat with my fork and I'm done put it in the oven 375 for 20 25 minutes and you are so done I have a thing full of meat sounds gross but if you made it into patties for a hamburger it'd be a hamburger right it doesn't really matter because you're cooking the meat so <clears throat> I've done meatloaf I'll do um, feeling fancy I'll do um, meatballs uh, with no sauce just I just form them in the balls. Like I said, however you eat them is still gonna be beef. <laughs> so that's how I do that with my chicken. If I take it down and, um, so again, with my meat, it's all from Costco for the most part, Aldi. Uh, sometimes Kroger, but for the most part, Aldi, because they have a good selection. I'll put it in my freezer. Um, so, I, so I have lots of vegetables and lots of meat in my freezer so that when I go grocery shopping during the week, I'm not, um, buying that stuff. I, I'm really only going for my fresh fruits and vegetables to eat with my uh, breakfast. So that's how I do my meat. Um, the fish, cook the fish. Um, I grill my fish. I cook it on the stove. I do it in the oven. Lots of way to cook. And again, I just split that among among my kids. So the other tip for my kids is, you know, I don't, I do give them a variety. They don't eat the same thing every day. But everything that I've listed that I eat and my husband eat, I still sparse that out to their plate. Um, I'll do veggie patties from Aldi or Costco um, just to give them something. I've done, once again, the Beyond Meat and Impossible Meat, stuff like that. Other than that, I mean, I'll do a chicken nugget every now and then just because they're kids and I still get the gluten-free chicken nuggets. I'll do mac and cheese every now and then just because they're kids because who doesn't want mac and cheese as a kid? Um, but for the most part, my kids are playing Jane. They eat what I eat. Um, at first, they may look at it a little funny like, Mom, what is this? But they're hungry after daycare and they will eat it. <laughs> and so you got to know your portion sizes and, and it'll, it'll be really, really easy. Uh, in terms of my containers, my containers are glass containers. I've been using them almost 15 years from Walmart, Ross, someplace like that. Go in the back of those stores. They're already going to have them ready. However, meal prep is such a big thing these days. Amazon also has it glass container and because I've broken so many over the years I they're all different sizes they used to be all like one pack right so I use glass containers for my kids I wanted to go glass but didn't have enough room on my refrigerator so I went for the meal prep um, containers from Amazon they are BPA free I do heat 
my kids food up in them and I literally put that tray on the table every day for dinner and I just stack them up so on Sunday um, I can my I'm about to say my TV my um, refrigerator is completely stacked full of food as the week progresses it becomes empty and so my treat meal uh, I post about it a lot is on the weekends and it's not because um, I mean, I don't know how to say it. I just eat so healthy during the week because I've cooked it. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. I don't wanna skip a meal prep meal, eat it Saturday, and now it's super old because now it's a week old, right? Um, so that's kind of how I splurge. And it's not that I eat bad on the weekends, but I definitely eat out uh, or I will buy something pre-made in its healthiest version. I'll eat a salad uh, for breakfast on the weekends. I'm always doing gluten-free pancakes and gluten-free muffins and different things like that. I am a bacon fan. I don't eat it daily. I may eat it three times a month. I always buy uncured, never buy cured bacon. It is very bad for you. Watch out for nitrates and nitrites, also very bad for you. Sausage, not good for you, but I do eat my sausage. So saying all that to say, I'm normal. I have my cheats and I enjoy myself. I have kids, we all eat the same thing. I don't eat juice in my house, um, drink juice in my house. I buy it. My husband drinks it every now and then. And if I'm feeling like a splurge, I give it to my kids. For the most part, no uh, juice. We keep it water and I drink a lot of teas. And so that's how I meal prep for my family for the week. Hopefully that was some insight on my thought process of how I do it. Now, have I tried, you know, big batches of um, spaghetti, big batches of a casserole? I've tried it. And, it, and it's fine, but it's just like, mm, I don't wanna eat that every day. And so I, I just play around with it. I, I may cook a casserole on Saturday, might have it for dinner on Sunday, and leave it for two days meal prep for everybody, just to have a variety. So that's something else you can do too. Another complaint is my spouse is eating all my food the first day, or, you know, or they're not eating it, okay? So there has to be some compromise you really got to try to see what works and so i'm just advising to cook a little bit to start to see what they like right they might not like what you're cooking i'm not the best cook my husband is just used to me now and i've gotten much better <laughs> um and so once you get the feel for it then you can kind of gauge ask him or her how many packs of chicken do you want you know how many how much rice do you want a day now I know to the T how much my family eats so we're good there uh, my husband would actually like uh, more vegetables than anything else which is pretty cool he'll eat his carb and he'll eat two to three pieces of chicken uh, his his theory or his method of um, having his treat meal he tries to finish all of my food by Thursday and so on Thursday he will eat out and it's kind of the Friday Eve right to enjoy his weekend so he'll you know order out on thursdays and then fridays but it's better than every day during the week right so again hopefully those tips help on how to meal prep for your family start you know during the week figuring out what's on sale if you absolutely hate it i sign up for the email list so it's sent to your email you skim through it you delete it once you're done once you figure out an idea yep i'm going to sprouts this weekend yep i'm going to the farmer's market from there all you need to do is start Saturday if you can. If you can't, no big deal. Start Sunday. It might be a little bit longer. And then cook your vegetables and your meat on Sunday and let it sit and cool on the counter. I don't put away my food hot. Package it up and you are so done. And when I cook on Sunday for the week, I'm also cooking breakfast on Sunday. I'm cooking lunch on Sunday and dinner on Sunday. But my tip for that is you can be fancy all you want to. Once again, I want to get out of the kitchen. For the most part, I am uh, eating, we're eating the same thing for lunch and dinner because I'm trying to get out of the kitchen so I can go and probably go do hair. You know, I'm always very, very busy. And so um, use that as a tip too. Um, you can use that as a treat meal and you can go somewhere for a Sunday uh, lunch, brunch, or dinner, okay? So anyway, I hope that helps. If you have more insight, you have more questions, leave them below. If you want one on someone who's single, let me know that too. And I'd love to do a video for you. See you later, bye.